AI influencers are taking over the world, and with the help of AI models like Flux, we have been able to make realistic AI influencers. But today, I've found an AI model that is better than Flux, which is Recraft AI. And the results are really, really realistic. Just take a look. It might be better than Flux 1.1. Don't take my word for it. It's literally in the official ranking system, where they anonymously ask people which one is better, and people select. And Recraft AI beat even the paid version of Flux. Now, there are a lot of videos showing how to use it, but none, and I mean none, show you how to make consistent characters with Recraft. And they show only one way to use Recraft. Luckily, you have Brain Project. Well, in this video, I'll show you firstly how to access Recraft AI through multiple free websites. Then I'll show you how to make consistent characters with Recraft, as well as how to make NSFW content with it and monetize on this new platform that would skyrocket your exclusive content page for free. Lastly, I'll show you how to make free and unlimited AI videos for the influencers. And at the end, I'll show a completely uncensored AI video tool to sell on the exclusive content page. Now, there's a lot of prompting settings and methods in this video, so I prepared a document containing all of that. If you want it, first hit the like button, then subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment. I want the document. Once my AI has seen that you have done all three of those things, it will send it to you. Let's get started, and I'd advise you to watch till the end to not miss anything, because trust me, there's a lot. Okay, so now to access this new version, there's a couple of ways, not as much as Flux, but still. So you can first of all search for Recraft Replicate, then click on this particular link. As you can see, it's Recraft, but the code name is actually Red Panda. You can run it here on this Replicate platform, but you can see this is a paid option. However, there are some free ways to access it, which I'll show you in a couple of minutes. And if you're wondering about commercial use, you can use it commercially if you generate it here on replicate.com. The link is in the description if you're interested. So let me show you another way to access this model for free. Just create a new tab and then search for Red Panda AI. Remember that we said Recraft is based off of Red Panda or Red Panda is its code name. Just click on this and it should take you to this place. As you can see, it's a free online image generator. And as you can see, I guess they get paid through the ads that you can see here. But everything is fast, it's flexible, and it is high quality. And as you can see here, take a look at this. Here it says that Red Panda is ranked the highest. Now, in case you didn't know, they normally release this anonymous test whereby they drop a series of images and then ask people to judge which one is better. They use it to rank this one, and as you can see, Red Panda dominated. Maybe not dominated, but it did very well, at least better than Flux 1 Pro, which is free, unlike Flux 1.1 Pro, which is paid, but yet Red Panda still did better than both of Flux models. And you can just go back and then click on Get Started with Red Panda. It should take you here. Now, you can just type in something like this. Then of course you need to verify whether you're human or not, and you can choose the aspect ratio. We'll leave it at one by one for now and then click on generate. And as you can see, he has done a wonderful job here. Let us now see how good it is at generating humans. Then we'll try a different aspect ratio, maybe 16 by nine. Then click on verify and then click on generate. And boy, look at the wonderful job it has done here. This is very, very realistic. And you can download it. Now they did say that when it comes to text, this is better than Flux in the sense that it can run a large amount of text, or rather, it can write down more amount of characters perfectly. Unlike Flux, we could only run a certain amount of characters without some weird glitch. So let us test that out. Let's just type in a prompt like this. Then verify and click on generate. Now, as you can see, this generation literally takes seconds. All it takes is seconds. And as you can see, it got the text perfectly. It even highlighted Brain Project. The only thing is just these two are in capital letters, but for me, it's pretty okay. Now on this same Red Panda, you can go to free tools and you can see you can access a whole lot of AI tools here. Of course, this is not sponsored and it is really cool. But actually, if you want to create consistent characters and use this Red Panda AI or Red Panda Recraft, what you can do is create a new tab and then search for recraft.ai, click on it, and then you should be presented with this interface. As you can see, even the website is really cool. You'll see why I prefer this, and even the results from this are a whole lot better, at least more than the one we just used. You can just have an idea. There are a lot of tools you can do here, and for those that want to use a logo with it, you can just see this very cool animation, perfect for SVGs as well, and you'll soon see why people prefer it to Flux, at least certain people. So we can just scroll back up, and then we log in. For now, I'll just use my Google account. Okay, so when you first sign in, they'll give you about 100 credits, but every day they still give you 50 credits. So you don't need to create accounts like that. And it's just like Leonardo AI. But of course, Leonardo AI doesn't have this red panda model or craft, which is currently the best. So if you want to create new, just go to image, then just type in where you will use this preset and see what it cooks for us. Now, as you can see, it's done. And if all of these are getting in your way, you can just delete all of them. 
and this is the result. And as you can see, this is very realistic and most of all, very high quality. We are literally expanding the size and I can tell you that it's still the same and there are different versions. As you can see, you can see how ultra realistic it is. Now you can also come here to your community page to copy prompts and you see how useful this is. You can try to replicate this. You can just copy it, go back here, then paste it in, then change things up, then click on recraft and let's see what it cooks. And as you can see, we have something very realistic and it looks similar and this one is a bit better which is cool. So you can also go back to your community. You can copy this one or just anyone that you see and you like, you can scroll back up, go here to photorealism. And as you can see, there are a whole lot more that you can copy. Like this one, just copy it, paste it here. It's actually not in English. So as you can see, this one understands multiple English or multiple languages rather. So let's see how it does with this. And now just take a look at the wonderful job it has done meaning it doesn't matter what language you type in, it will still produce extraordinary results. So now let us try creating our AI influencer. Okay, so for this, I open up ChatGPT as always. ChatGPT is extremely useful, especially for prompting. Basically, we are telling it to make an extremely detailed prompt to generate a model for us. So once you press enter, ChatGPT will cook. Just simply copy, go back to your craft, erase the previous prompt and paste it in. Then at the end, you can come here and then add low or add grainy, Snapchat camera, iPhone camera, just add this. Then you can add negative prompts. You can use these negative prompts to get the best result. At the top here, you can modify or change the size of the image. Down here, you can change the aspect ratio. Just play around with the slider a little bit. Then you can click on recraft. Okay, so it's done and I want you to take a look at the style. As you can see, we generated a prompt for our AI influencer. And as you can see, it's very good and it added the grainy filter, making it even more realistic. And because we put in the punk style, instead of pink hair woman, that's why she's dressed like a punk. But even at that, it did a good job. It's super, super realistic. It's awesome. I can also take this here. As you can see, there's only a problem with her hand here, which isn't too realistic, but all in all, it tried. Yeah, it isn't perfect, but wow, this is awesome. But we don't want this. We want an actual AI influencer, someone that can attract people. So you can go back to ChatGPT. Then this time around, tell it to do for a pink hair woman. So the AI is done cooking. You can just copy it. Paste in the prompt. And then you can actually go here to crafts to select the model. As you can see, they've got a whole lot that you can try out. There's one for photorealism and one tailored for SVG style or more like icon style motion graphics and even for digital art, but we want the best, which is Recraft V3 Raw. And you can just go back and leaving everything the same, click on Recraft. And now, as you can see, this is the result, which looks awesome and very realistic at that. So now how do we go about making our AI influencer consistent and generally every other thing about her? So for that, we need the face. You can go back to ChatGPT, then tell it what to do. So for this face and for the best result, we would want something like a close-up portrait of our AI influencer. Remember, to get all the prompts, techniques, and guide on this, simply like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down. I want the document. Once my AI sees you have done all three of these things, it would send it over to you. Then press enter, copy it, and paste it in here. Then click on craft. So now it's done and look at this beauty of the work that has been done. Everything is perfect. And if you want, you can right click to remove this background or you can vectorize, so we will just download. So now that we've got our face, keep that one aside. Now for consistency. For consistency, it's actually simple. There are two ways for this. The first one is leaving this prompt like this, at least the base prompt, whereby you keep her head shaped structure in it. Basically anything that describes her facial structure, that's what the base prompt is going to contain. Then here you can add in an extra prompt and click generate. Now, as you can see, because we left her facial structure the same, it looks a bit like her, but not perfect. This is why I prefer method two, actually. The face that we generated can be a little bit different. Just make sure you have the AI face. Now, what I want you to do is think of any popular celebrity that you like and want to use their body shape and facial structure. This is because Recraft AI is trained on a huge database, including some of these people. So here, for example, I generated a photo of Ariana Grande just in a lounge. And the point is, you can see it is trained based off of her body image and style. It doesn't exactly look like her. Obviously, this could be due to copyright reasons or anything like that, but you can see the consistency of her body style and head shape is there. And don't worry about the face. I'll show you now how to make 
make it look like your influencer's face, thus maintaining consistency. So then you can just export this as PNG. Then, now you can create a new tab. Then I want you to simply search for AIEase.com. Link should be in description. It's 100% free face swap. Then you can upload in your model image here. So yeah, I've got this one. So here is the face of the influencer I want, then upload in this one. Then click on swap face. As you can see, the face is done and it looks more like our AI influencer and it's consistent and she's beautiful and you can download it with no watermark. And you can just try that again. And remember, just pick any popular influencer that you know. So I generated a new one of her sitting down. You can download this. As you can see, this one even looks more like her. You can just export it, take it back to swap face and just repeat the same steps. Take a look at the wonderful work it has done. It looks more like our influencer and you can download this. Now another one is, or rather, let's just stick with this. Then basically just stick with one popular celebrity that you know. These are craft models are already based on them. So it'll be pretty much easy for you to generate consistent faces, at least the facial structure and even the body, and that you can keep that one consistent. Then you can just swap face with your model because, I mean, we do not want to be impersonating these celebrities. So now for NSFW, it's content. Now you cannot generate bare images. However, what you can do is just generate something a bit spicy. Of course, this is for educational purposes. So if you want to make it private, you can pay the $10. So as you can see, we've got something like this. Now I'm going to show you how to make it completely bare. Of course you want a better base image to work with, but I'll use this for now. Swap the face here. So now to make them fully bare, you can just download it, then open up TensorArts. So you can use TensorArts or preferably you can use Focus. The link to load up Focus is in the description. Just click on Impute Image, Advanced, turn off the styles. If you have been here, you know that before Flux, we used to use Focus a whole lot. Then go to Input or Out, Paint, then drag in the photo. Then simply paint over the region that you wish to be there. And then type in the prompt. The prompt you'd type should be the body part that should be there, and you should generate it. Of course, I can't show it here due to YouTube guidelines, but you can try it out. You can also get different poses of her standing up and then paint it and, it, and it can generate all the images you want, all of which are uncensored. Okay, now actually, you might actually want to scroll up and go to advanced, turn on developers, debug mode, go here to control, then turn on this. That's to mix image prompt and in paint. So now for the video models. So if you want to generate realistic videos from your images, you can create a new tab and then go to vidfew.ai link is in the description. As you can see, it's meant for stunning videos in literal minutes. It doesn't take time, unlike Kling and Minimax, some of the popular ones. And there are a lot of features here, like the AI Hub Generator, AI Dance Generator, AI Keys Generator, and Normal Image to Video, and everything done in literal minutes. So you can just sign up, then click on Generate Videos for free. Then you can bring in your image. You choose the aspect ratio that you want. Then you can just click on Generate, even without prompts. Now it's done and look at the wonderful job it has done. As you can see, no sort of morphing. And even though you didn't add any prompt, it still understood the image as whole and the video is awesome. Now for uncensored videos, which can be exclusive videos or exclusive content, you can just go back to Tensor Art. Then I want you to go to this one where it says, make your pictures come to life. Then click on try. Then simply here, you can upload in your uncensored image. Then you just type in the prompt here. Of course, unfortunately, I can't show this on YouTube, but it should work perfectly for you. Not as good as the top-notch models, but it's pretty decent and you can always download it. So now how can we monetize the AI influencer with exclusive content? As we know by now, neither OnlyFans nor Fansy accept AI influencers and the ones that do require overbearing KYC. Well, this site, DFans does not. All you need to do is sign up with your Google account. Then click on become a creator, then apply now. Once you fill in all the necessary details, it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes for them to approve your account. After that, you can complete your profile and set up subscription prices. Your fans can pay in crypto for improved anonymity, meaning both your fans and your privacy is assured if you use DFans. One reason I really like it though, is that there is no withdrawal limit. And as I've said, you don't need to provide any government issued ID card or whatsoever. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this. And check out my other video for better understanding.